Hello everyone, welcome back to this back of AX8000 motion control series video. In this video, we will discuss the number four topic, how can we read the actual torque value from the AX8000 drive. This is also the similar idea reading the actual torque from AX5000. As shown in from this screen, when we use the run motor, online monitor the position velocity lag using the curve monitor the motor. From the scope wheel options, we can turn on the actual torque. So we can use this actual torque curve to monitor the torque from the drive. The torque shown here, that unit, that is a percent. As shown in this picture, while well, the motor running the backward, so the torque value also that's the negative. The actual torque value reading from the PLC minus 10, that means that is a minus 1% value. This is a percent value and it times 10 already. Other than this percent value, we also need the base, the base new meter torque value. So once we have the base, we can multiply this percent so we can calculate the actual torque new meter value. So in this video, we will discuss how can we read this percent actual torque percent and how can we know the base torque value. In the previous videos, we use the IO scan. So we scan the drive AX8000 drive in my case. And under this drive, I have the motor A and the motor B, two motors. Okay. And after that, we create this drive manager, this project. And this drive manager will read the actual configuration from the IO. Also, once we go online, this drive manager will scan the actual motor type here. And then how can we read the actual torque from this channel B? I will use the channel B as an example. So we can double click this channel B, go to the drive manager, this main screen, and then go to the advanced. Okay. Firstly, let's go to the process data. Here we type in the torque. So from the output and the input, you can find some variables associated with the torque. So output means the PLC gives some controls to the drive that output. For example, normal case where we use the PLC might give us some torque limitation. Here, the positive limitation and the negative torque limitation, right? And in this video, we will discuss how can we read the torque. That input means this value transfer from the drive to the PLC. The input means this direction. Then we can find here the channel B torque force actual value, this. This is the actual torque percent value. And since this data type is an integer, its actual value already times 10. So we need to take care about this. For example, if the torque value, this is a 10%, the integer value we get, that is a 100, okay? Click this right side. Okay, this is the B channel. And if you want to read the channel A, so we can go to the channel A, same place at once, process data and we can search torque and then the channel A its number is 677 here torque force actual value okay and channel B so channel B that's a 6877 okay after we transfer this variable from the left side to the right side so we give this channel to the PLC and then let's go to the PLC IO area so this is our drive and under this drive, we have a channel A and a channel B. So after we transfer this tag to the right side, the system will create these two tags under the drive. For the channel A, it named torque control input. And for the channel B, it named channel B torque control input. And then we can connect. So if we double click here, so you will see the data type is an integer. And once you create one input integer, and you can link that variable, this is the first method. And for the second method, as you can see, the system automatically connect one variable at here, and link to the NC task as AF here. That's because when we scan the IO, this drive IO, it asks us to automatically create an NC configuration. It's true, most of the cases, we will also create the NC configuration. Right, so if we go up under the motion, it create a two axes here. Axis one, from the second we can see it connect to the channel A, and for the axis two, 
it connect to the channel B, right? And then if we go to the access, the input and the output here, let's expand this output. So we can see here two PLC, that's some info from the drive to PLC. And under this two PLC, we can see the actual torque here, the actual torque. This actual torque, this is a long rail value here. You can create the long rail variable and link this long rail variable at here. You can also read the actual torque. Okay, there are basically two ways. And then the next question you may ask, so currently all the value will read the actual torque that based on the percent or the value has been multiplied 10. So this is the percent value. This is not the actual torque value. If you want to read the actual torque, the new meter, the unit. So how can we get the value? Then we go to the drive. For example, I'm using the channel B as an example. This is the percent value here, right? So we need to know what the actual torque when this value, that is 100%. We need to know this base, this new meter torque value. What the full torque can come from the motor, right? Then we go to the parameter list. And here we can search standstill. We can search standstill here for AX8000. This name is channel A or channel B motor standstill torque. So for my motor, its torque is 1.2 new meter. And for the AX5000 motor, you can search this parameter. It named config channel peak torque, peak torque. So all the value, the percent value need to multiply this peak torque value or the standstill torque. Then you will get the actual torque value new meter unit. Okay, so you can see this unit is a new meter. So again, for the channel B, this motor, that is a standstill torque, the 1.2 new meter. So this means if you want to calculate the actual torque new meter value, then you can use this solid, this static value 1.2 times the actual torque percent value, then you get the actual torque new meter value. Okay, this is the basic idea. And then you can go online and click this run motor. And once you go to this run motor, you will see by default, there will be a three graph here, position, velocity, and lag. So to monitor the torque, you need to go to the scope wheel options, turn on this torque option, which is very easy, just one checkbox. And then you click this go online and online monitor this online curve. So from this graph here, you can monitor the online torque percent value. And keep in mind, when the motor is running the forward direction, the torque value that is positive. When the motor is running the backward, go reverse the torque that is a minus. Let's go online. Okay, let's start. So as we can see, now the motor is running the positive direction, 375, and the torque value that is 1.2 around here, this is the positive value. This is 1.2%. Now I stop the motor. Now go reverse. So we can see this direction, minus 375, reverse direction. So the torque also give me the negative 1.2%. So the torque positive or negative, that means the direction. And then let's go to this channel A, this channel A torque actual value. And from here, we can double click, click the IO monitor. We can monitor if the torque value reading from this IO if that equal to the actual torque monitor at here, at this curve here. So double click and we can drag and compare. So now this IO read the actual torque value, this is a 10, right? So from this curve, we can see this is 1%. If I decrease, go minus, we can see minus 10. This is a minus 1%, see? Now we are running the reverse direction. So this value is minus. Now this motor running the positive direction. So this value is positive. 1% actual torque. Okay, let's go negative again. Then go negative. Okay, we can see now the velocity minus 375. So the torque is also the negative. 
Okay, this is the torque value I would like to show in this video. And keep in mind, this torque, this is the percent value. You need to multiply the standstill torque for the AX8000. And for the AX5000, that torque, the base torque name, peak torque, that is new meter. And once you multiply this percent actual torque value, you will get the torque, the new meter unit, the torque value. And keep in mind, this positive and the negative that I line up with the, the drive direction. Okay, this is how can we read the actual torque from the drive. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.